There's a pretty one, Ulysses. Hello Booktube, I'm Sean the Book Maniac. Welcome back to my channel. Here I am to do another version of a tag from Mel of Mel's Bookland Adventure. Choose the year book tag. I have done the one, the year of my birth, 1966, and now I'm going to do the year of my mother's birth. And she's not secretive about her age, so she wouldn't mind me telling you that the year under discussion here is 1943. She looks much younger than that. You've seen her on my videos. I will put a link to Mel's original video in the show notes, and I will also, if I remember, put a link to my 1966 video. And don't I look much younger than that too? In the show notes. So with this, there's uh, five prompts, and you choose a bunch of books. And I put the instructions on how to find books from whatever year it is uh, in my show notes and you can also find them in Mel's. But for 1943 let's get started. The first prompt is why did I choose it? It's the year of my mom's birth. Uh, number two, which books published in that year have, have you read or heard of? So there's two main places to find them. One is on Goodreads sorted by year and the other one is uh, Wikipedia 1943 in literature type of thing. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is actually the most popular 1943 book on Goodreads. I haven't read it. I'm dying to read it, and I'm thinking that might be a good contender for my first buddy read with Juan of Bookish Islander. What do you think? The Fountain Hand, number two. Bleh. There's Republicans on Goodreads. The Little Prince I read for the first time four years ago. I absolutely loved it. It's the first children's book I read as an adult that didn't make me barf. It's beautiful. It's just incredible. There's a lot of Enid Blyton in the top 200 on Goodreads. The Magic Faraway Tree. Yes, I read it. Enid Blyton was my favorite writer. I'm sure I would just be embarrassed if I reread any of it, but that doesn't matter. She had a huge impact on my reading life. Our Lady of the Flowers by Jean Genette. I can't remember which of his I've read, to be honest, so I may have read that. I have heard of Wallace Stigner's The Big Rock Candy Mountain. have not read any of his stuff. I read, I think, all of the Mary Poppins novels, so Mary Poppins opens the door, number three in that series. I probably, I must have read. I've heard of Thomas Mann's Joseph and His Brothers. I think it's about the biblical Joseph, isn't it? One that I borrowed without asking for my mother and then gave away to Ange of Beyond the Pages is Chicken Every Sunday, My Life with Mother's Borders. It's a memoir. I brought it back from my mum's shelf thinking I might read it uh, and then I found out it was a memoir and I lost interest but it, it, Ange's eyes were drawn to it so I said please take it mum will never know one way to make sure my mother doesn't find out is to mention it in a booktube video I do about the year of her birth <laughs> I have heard of Denton Welch's novel Maiden Voyage and have not read it God is my co-pilot I think that book was kicking around the title is pretty barfy Going over to the Wikipedia page. Anything else mentioned here? Robert Musel's The Man Without Qualities is a book I've been hearing about it off and on for decades, and it was published that year. I think there's a bit of a, something gay in there, isn't there? A Dorothy Whipple novel was published in 1943. They were sisters. I haven't heard of the novel. A collection of Virginia Woolf's short fiction was published, A Haunted House and Other Short Stories. Okay, so those are the ones that I have read or heard of. Not very many have I read. Uh, prompt number three, any books published that year that sound interesting that I'd like to read? Quite a few. I definitely, definitely want to read A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. There is a novel by the Indian writer R.K. Narayan. Naray Narayan? Nar God, I better find out. The following pronunciation is brought to you by PronounceNames.com. Narayan. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Malgudi Days by R.K. Narayan. I'm interested in him. Don't know anything about him, but I'm into Indian literature, so definitely that one. I have a Wallace Stegner on my shelf. I don't remember what the title is. If I like it, I'm expecting I'm going to love it. I would definitely want to try the Big Rock Candy Mountain. It sounds like a John Denver song. Why? Anyway, 
I did read a little bit about Two Serious Ladies by Jane Bowles. I have never read any Jane Bowles. Unfortunately, I have read her husband. This one sounded like very woman-centered novels, so count me in. Love in a Fallen City by Eileen Chang. Claire of Claire Reads Books and Matthew Sharapa both champion her so much. I have another of her books on my shelf. If I like it, I want to try Love in a Fallen City. There's a novel here by Pearl Buck, and I read her most famous novel... The Good Earth, earlier this year, loved it. I would try probably any of her novels. This one's called The Promise. And it is about a band of Chinese soldiers who are sent to rescue a British-American platoon during World War II. Okay. Definitely I will try Maiden Voyage by Denton Welch. She's fast becoming one of my most favorite writers of all time. Rabindranath Tagore. I didn't really know that he wrote novels. I thought he only wrote verse. He didn't read, write novels in verse, did he? Anyway, Two Sisters. The translation was published in 1943. It's one of his last three novels. That's a weird way to put it. I don't know. I would look into it. There's a novel here called Candleford Green by Flora Thompson, and that is part of her series, which is called Lark Rise to Candleford. It's a trilogy, and I recently discovered it on Scribd, or I found out I have it on Scribd, so I want to read the whole series, so I'll add that one to my list. I said A Man Without Qualities was a German novel, Robert Musel. It's actually an Austrian novel. It's typically considered to be one of the most significant novels of the 20th century. It's a story of ideas during the Austro-Hungarian monarchy's last days. I'm just scanning the plot summary here. Oh, uh, there is a plot, but it sounds heavily philosophical I would have to do oh it's more than a thousand pages the, the complete English translation is almost two thousand pages if it was character driven with some philosophy I might be okay but I would probably need to read a large sample before deciding those are the ones that I would be interested in checking out uh, the most obscure sounding book is the road to hell if I'm pronouncing it correctly, there's only one L in hell. The Road to Hell, a study of the conception of the dead in Old Norse literature by Hilda Ellis Davidson, who was an English antiquarian and academic specializing in Germanic and Celtic paganism. Wow, that actually sounds fascinating, but yeah. Anybody want to buddy read it with me? Uh, I'm scared some of you might say yes. Donahue, I'm just kidding. Not that one. Oh my god. But I'd like to hear somebody else tell me about it. Uh, and the final prompt is the strangest book cover. And I just searched 1943 book cover. I find trying to find them on the little thumbnail on Goodreads just really makes my eyes tired. So when I did that search, I came up with one. It's not necessarily strange, but just really but ugly. Wind Over Wisconsin by August Derleth. What do you think? Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the way he plays with color. <laughs> All right, that was a blast. Thank you, Mel, once again. I'm going to do my father's birth year later, but much later. Give you guys a break. I'm going to tag a few people. Rainy Day Reads. Oh, and just so you know, you don't have to do 1943. You choose your own year, okay? Rainy Day Reads. Tia and All the Books. Cousin of Always Doing. Jay Shea. And a new-to-me booktuber. Uh, so new to me that I haven't gotten her actual name maybe she doesn't use it on her channel but her channel is called soggy expat book nerd she's fabulous check her out thanks for watching